Hi, I'm Greg Dell, and I'm here today with Stephen Jessup. And Steve, I want to talk to you about claims with Northwestern Mutual, but more specifically since we mostly find the Northwestern Mutual claims are private disability claims, even though they do write you know, some group coverage. Um, let's talk a little bit more geared towards business professionals and the level of detail you think that Northwestern expects when receiving a claim, whether it's uh, the initial claim or if you've been denied. Uh, I think of all the cases that we handle for the various insurance companies, Northwestern has the most attention to detail in everything they do. Um, as a business professional, whether you be in the medical profession, legal profession, owning a business, um, there's going to be a lot of information. So outside of the initial claim forms you may get that you have to turn to your doctors that you submit, uh, there's other going to be other aspects that they're really going to scrutinize. They're going to look at you know tax returns, financial statements, if there's billings. I mean, how many times have we seen requests for actual printouts of calendars and logs? Um, so you have to expect that when you are submitting a claim, and Northwestern Mutual is a very, very reputable company, they are very, very detail-oriented, so you will need to be able to you know, provide and, and, and come up with a, a bevy of information you wouldn't normally expect, uh, you know, in filing a claim. I think the majority of their requests are, are reasonable and expected. Very much. But they can often be very scary for mm -hmm. a claimant because they're like, hey, you, you sent me the application and you sent me a doctor's form and why am I getting all these other requests? And then claimants are like, what's going on? Are they taking advantage of me or should they get this stuff? So we know that they're entitled to most of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's important that you understand as a claimant what you're giving them, why you're giving it to them, and what exactly you do give them. Because you don't necessarily need to give them mm -hmm. everything. And let's assume you have total versus residual disability. How is that going to impact what's going on with your claim? One of the biggest things when uh, in total disability, a lot of financial reporting requirements will be absent after a certain amount of time. But with residual, if you're saying, hey, I can still work. I have a loss of income, I'm still working, there's gonna be a month-to-month -month financial analysis where they're gonna be looking at pay stubs. Um, if you're a doctor, for instance, what's your, your billing and your profit and loss? So they're gonna be looking at a lot of financials. And a lot of times what ends up hap happening with business professionals, they may be dealing with a, a condition that's affected their ability to work for quite some time. And then only after a while do they think, you know, hey, I have this disability policy, maybe I should look into it. And there are possibilities and times of being able to backdate a claim uh, to some time in the past to establish a residual disability. So then that's going to open up, say it's 2017, but you started experiencing issues in 2015. Now Northwestern Mutual may be looking for financials going back to 2012, 2013. Um, so depending on the style of claim you're, you're going to file, there are going to be requests that are going to be different from each one. The other area that I find that Northwestern is very detailed in is in their medical evaluation of mm -hmm. the claim. They're always looking for a pre-existing condition that's mm -hmm. huge, that's normal. All the companies do that, but they're ex extremely diligent in doing that. But they also find that they regularly have their own in-house doctor call the treating physicians. Mm -hmm. And we've seen that become a problem for a lot of claimants um, because most claimants treating doctors don't want to speak to any insurance yeah. company, period, end of story. So the Northwestern doctor will call maybe once or twice and will never speak to the treating doctor. And basically the in-house Northwestern doctor says, look, I never spoke to their doctor. There's nothing to rebut what my opinion is, whether the person can or can't work. Let's assume in this situation, the doctor says the claimant can't work and the claimant gets denied. Mm -hmm. So I know when we get involved with a claim, how do we deal with that situation? Well, I think the biggest thing is as the attorney, you know, speaking with the client, you know, and always asking it, you know, any client or potential client, you know, are your doctors on board if you are? They're gonna be supportive and they're gonna be helpful. Uh, having a dialogue with the client on how to approach the doctor even and have that discussion that they may be filing for a disability, you know, get it. But I think also, you know, when we are putting out requests, uh, you know, for the doctors or in a situation where we know Northwestern is gonna be trying to communicate with the doctors, uh, preemptively contacting the doctor to explain, you know, what they can expect, you know, going forward, things like that. Or in some cases where doctors just don't prefer to get on the phone and talk, uh, you know, Northwestern, because they, they will 
you know, they're, they're, they're not looking, you know, to just, you know, deny, deny, deny. They are doing a very in-depth review, you know, requesting getting any questions that their doctor may have in writing so they can be submitted to the client's doctor. So there's various ways to try to help make sure of getting the response that we know will, you know, be needed um, so that review can, you know, hopefully shift towards the, the favor of our client. Right. One other thing I noticed recently or that's been a problem is Northwestern uses a third party company to request medical mm -hmm. records. So like even though we're sending an authorization there, you're getting an authorization from some other company. Mm -hmm. And then that company, I find them not to be that good at, at getting records. And so the Northwestern sends us letters and goes, we've been trying to get records for the following doctors and we're not getting them. Well, it's your third party who's not yeah. doing the job, and yeah. now you're saying it's our claimant's fault, but ultimately we know our claimant has the responsibility to get them what they want. But if the claimant doesn't know that Northwestern's trying to go like back door and get mm -hmm. records, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden Northwestern says, hey, we've been trying for six months to get records, where are they? It's a problem. So I think Northwestern needs to look into this third party yeah. service that they're using, because I found it to be actually terrible. And then it just puts more pressure on the claimant, because they're like, what's going on? Yeah at this point in time. So um, overall, I think Northwestern is a good company. I think the reason I think that they um, can be one of the better companies is because their claims people have been there for a long time. They don't have a lot of turnover. You and I have been working with the same people mm -hmm. for years and years at their company. Um, and that goes a long way. Yeah. They know what they're doing. We have a relationship with them to there's no games, getting them back and forth what they want and really communicating our position. And I think that they respect that and we're able to carry on that positive relationship to the claimant, which goes a long way in helping to get the claimant um, approved. Also, you find that, you know, Northwestern Mutual as a company does a lot of financial advising. And so their financial advisors are usually selling these policies to the claimants. And so the claimants are sophisticated, hardworking people who bought good policies yep. usually with good language, as opposed to getting a, you know, twenty dollar a month group ERISA policy that has all kinds of restrictions and limitations. Very much so. so. No matter what stage you're at with your claim with Northwestern Mutual, feel free to call Stephen or any of the disability lawyers at our law firm. We help clients nationwide, and we'll provide you with an immediate free consultation to let you know if we're able to help you.